Hello friends, this is Professor Sanjeev Devedi and I welcome you all to a session where I will be briefing you about a topic platform independence from subject Java for TY Diploma Semester 5 students from brand CO, CM, IF and CW. Well, during your first year and second year course of diploma, you have studied subject like C, C++, programming languages, but you haven't used them to create web-based application. The answer is no. Why? Because they are platform dependent programming language. The question arises, now what do you mean by platform dependent programming language? Let us move back and see the concepts. Now, what happens in C, C++? As we all know, the job of compiler is to convert the source code into machine understandable code. Now, what happens in C, C++ is the output of compiler is native machine code. Now, that word is very crucial. Native machine code. So, what happens is when we compile a C program on XP operating system, the output of compiler is object code. Well, it is XP understandable code of the C program. Now, if we compile the same C program on Linux operating system, the output of compiler is Linux understandable code of even.c. Now, what do you mean by that? It means that when a C program compiled on XP, it can be executed on XP operating system only. When a C program compiled on Linux can be executed on Linux operating system only. Well, in case of web application, irrespective of the operating system where we have compiled it, a web application should be executed anywhere if the, if, if the system supports environment. What happens in Java is, in Java, on top of your existing operating system, it creates a virtual machine called as Java Virtual Machine. To the Java compiler, now the machine that is visible is JVM, Java Virtual Machine. So, the output of compiler here is not native machine code. It is an intermediate code known as bytecode. Well, this is JVM understandable code. So, in Java, if we compile, let's say, event.java file on XP operating system, the output is bytecode. That's JVM understandable code. The extension is dot class. And if the same program compiled on Linux operating system, the compiler output is again bytecode. So what we see here is irrespective of the operating system where we compile the program, output is bytecode. But my machine does not understand bytecode. And for a program to execute, it must be understandable to my machine. Where there comes another compiler known as just in time compiler. Now what it does is it converts the bytecode to native machine code. So a JIT compiler on XP converts the bytecode to XP understandable code, which can be executed and output can be obtained. Now same bytecode, when I try to execute on Linux, the JIT compiler converts this bytecode to Linux understandable code, which can be executed to generate the output. So what we have seen here is a Java program compiled on XP, it can be executed on XP, well, it can be executed on Linux and any other operating system where the Java support exists. So what we've seen here is, this is the reason Java is the programming language that is used for create web-based application. So this is about platform independence. I hope you must have enjoyed the session. Thank you.